On behalf of the class of 2016, I'd like to introduce our guest speaker. With a vote that was practically unanimous, I think I can speak for everyone in saying that there was really no better choice. I can't speak in terms of how he has inspired us as a teacher to become better students because I myself was honored to receive the best student I never had award from him in eighth grade. But I can say he's been an inspiring adult in making me want to become a better person. I can't even speak badly of him after all the times he's pushed me into the boys' bathroom and messed up my hair. He and I have found ourselves in countless fights throughout the years due to both of us being so stubborn, but I was never able to stay mad at him for long. He's the man we all would go to when we were in a pickle or just wanted to hear a little pick-me-up. Whether we needed to escape class, grab a snack, go on a rant, or receive any type of advice, everyone knew his door would always be open. The impact on our lives that he has made as an individual is inexplicable. His unique sense of humor, warm smile, and friendly hellos we have all received so many times walking through the hallways will be dearly missed. So, on behalf of the class of 2016, I would like to thank you for being our rock and for being our person. Thank you for teaching us right from wrong, to respect others as well as ourselves, to not be afraid to give second chances, and to always stay true to ourselves regardless of other opinions. We thank you for being so down to earth with us, for sharing with us your wisdom, for always believing in us, and most importantly, for giving each of us a piece of your heart. Without further ado, I'd like to welcome up to the podium, Mr. Michael Burgess to speak for the class of 2016. Hello. <clears throat> well, uh, good afternoon or good evening, whichever it would be. But uh, I feel kind of awkward because my speech is kind of geared towards you guys. So if I stand like this, is that okay with everybody else? All right. <clears throat> Sorry. Let me know if you can't hear me. Is that okay? Is this okay? Is this okay? Yeah. All right. So I, against my better judgment, I decided to write things down. Uh, thinking I'll probably end up staring at my cards the whole time, but I'll try not to. Uh, I just, I wanted to start off by just saying how honored, you know, I am to be here with you guys tonight and, you know, just how wonderful of a journey it's been. I wanted to, to thank you guys, honestly, uh, for your energy and your honesty, your free spirits, sharing your burdens with me, and sharing mine, listening, even when you don't agree with me, your faith, your tenacity, your discretion, most of the time, your perspective, the honesty that you bring with you in your eyes, not just with your words, your love, and even your naughty tendencies that you all have from time to time. I'll try and keep it short and sweet since I'm sweating like a pig and my heart's racing. I think it might explode. <laughs> Life is so precious. All I have for you is hopes. I hope that you have gained as much from us here at Hopkins as we have from you. I hope you're able to find the silver lining in every cloud, no matter how great the cloud or no matter how small the silver lining. I hope that your journey through life, as it is a journey, is enriching and filled with love. I encourage you to open your hearts as you travel. Share yourself. Listen to others. Share their joy, share their pain, and their love. And of course, most importantly, share your love. Share your love until you have nothing left. And then share more. It's a bittersweet moment sending you off. But I send you off with a glad heart. I hope you know you'll be missed. And I know that some of you may realize how we feel, and some of you may still be working on it as young adults, but I want you to know that there are no words to describe how much you mean to all of us in this room, 
and how much we love you. And for my final words, a man that can say it or could say it better than me, Martin Luther King Jr. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Carry your love with you. Use it every day. Did I say love or hate? I kind of blanked out for a second. Thank you. All right, sorry about that. Good thing there's some live TV and they can't edit it. Take your love with you. Use it. Use it as your shield, as your weapon, to drop others' defenses, to enrich your life, and to enrich the lives of others. I love you guys. Congratulations.